What's up, all the Power Rise crew? Today's video, we're showing you a little easy, cheap, very inexpensive trick for your license plate to access your fuel. Pull that down. Ah, look at that. That's not a factory thing, is it? Pour this over. Release that. Ta-da! Works out well. This will hold your license plate down for the people who want to move that over. Open this up. No, I'm not going to show you that trick yet. You just have to see it later in the video. Pretty snazzy. Then you close it back up. Done. Super easy trick. Very inexpensive. And you can buy all the parts at your local hardware or the links I may provide down below. So if you like these easy DIY videos that saves you money, that gives you knowledge and experience of doing the job yourself, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Let's roll. Now, I've already taken one of these out of the package and screwed it in place. I got these uh, tractor supply. The ones I found at Lowe's, or ones I've uh, seen at Lowe's, were just the uh, hard plastic ones. Don't go there. Those right there end up breaking on you. You want the ones with the rubber coated metal. As you can see right here, metal rubber coat. So, our goal is to have an arm that rolls out like it's right here, sits across this, and holds this up like this. Sweet? Yes. But, you can't have it drop down too far because you think if you get over down here, it'd hold an open well, which it will, but you can't roll it back over into the body here and concealed behind the plate because you won't have room. So, putting this in place kind of gives you an idea of where you can uh, bend your rod from. Now, we're either going to keep it here or we may end up moving it here. This takes a T20 Torx. Really cross for Torx. You could have used Phillips head screw, screws. It'd have been so much easier, but it's all right. So I've got two rods here. One's made of aluminum, one's steel. Uh, the steel one is zinc coated. I'm going to try to bend the aluminum because that's likely for rust and stuff like that. But depending on the type of aluminum, it can be kind of unforgiving about bending too hard and cracking. But just for the kicks and giggles, we're going to go ahead and use one of them. It don't matter which. To kind of come across here and say, huh, yes. It'll lay across like this right here. But what we want is for it to come out, you know, right along here somewhere, someplace will be fine because this will fold up onto it, hide it, no problem. But we also need that bend, 90 degree bend, come up into here above this. So whenever the plate's open, it'll pivot all out and lean against the body, which we're gonna use some um, sleeving to go over top of this right here, keep from getting against the body and messing that up. So we're kind of eyeballing it saying, how much do we need? So we're going to come up to about right here. We're going to make a 90 degree bend up. I don't think we need all that sticking out there. So I'm going to say about right along in here. This will make a 90 degree bend upward here and hopefully give us what we want. So what we got? Uh, keep the tape measure going here. And that's about nine and a half inches. So. Let's go 10 inches because I'll hang this out here. I'll out past this bracket a little bit. I'm going to cut this. I'll be right back. Okay, I cut the aluminum and the steel at 10 inches. And we're going to figure out which one we're going to use. But I'm going to go ahead and set them both up. So we need to figure out where our 90 degree bend, where it's going to kick up at. So I'm going to build this to where this tip just rises over this edge here just by a little bit. Get the Sharpie marker. Hold that in place right there. And our bend is going to be right there. So I'm going to mark my aluminum one at the same place. Bend these at a 90 degree angle. And I'll be right back. Now as you can see right there, I just stuck it up in the back end of the frame. A rust bucket. C-clamped it down. Bend it straight up. You figure out if you got a vise, do it that way. I got a vise, but this was easier and it was there, so... 90 degrees. Bend the steel one, and I'm going to try them both in just a moment. The aluminum, I bend it, and I don't see no major disformity, no um, tears or anything like that. So, the aluminum one I like better because you got less chance of rust and stuff like that. So, we'll try it in a moment. Another point about using aluminum, it's so much easier to bend. All right, let's try them out. Okay, we got them both bent, and since the aluminum did very well, didn't crack, no deformity, nothing like that. We're probably going to use this one. Like I keep mentioning, less likely to rust. So we're going to 
bend this back here. And yes, I'm gonna put some vinyl tubing above this to prevent it from getting into the body. I may have to loosen this right here up again. Yeah, I'm gonna loosen it up, just make your life easier on myself. T20 torques, back it up a little bit. Maybe back it up a little bit more. Now you do want that good snug fit, like where it's just kind of being hard to go in, you do want that. How about we just take that completely then? All right, so we'll take this, open it up a little bit, push it on down to the 90 degree bend there, which will rotate like this right here. And which way does we go? Put a screw back in. Position it up a little bit. Hold it in place. Snug it up. Da da. Now let's see. That'll rotate over like that. Close that up. Looks good to me. But we'll put our vinyl. See, right now it's pushing it. Well, it's not touching the body. But when we put our vinyl tubing in over this right here, it'll help hold it down just a little bit more. And of course, we can slide some in down here as well for it to contact the hole. And yeah, we'll be clear. So let me get the vinyl tubing. I'll be right back. Got our tubing, and we're going to use a super scientific method to measure our length. We're going to hold it up next to it like this and say, yeah, we need about that long. Scientific, wasn't it? Rigid bleed. Be careful, don't cut yourself. I cut that piece, set it right there for right now. Go back to our super scientific method. And one thing I would not do is run your tubing all the way back to this leg here. You can stop about right here, bring it out, that'll be fine because you gotta have enough finish for that to come up. But stop right there so you don't get into this bracket here. I'm not sure how complicated this stuff will be going on. It may be a total pain, but we're gonna cut it about right there and find out. Takes it all the way out to the end. We got that there. Now we take this piece over this end. That protects your body. It doesn't damage the paint. There you go. Holds it open for you. Tuck it in out of the way. Roll it over. Good to go. Now for kicks and giggles, I'm going to show you one more little trick. Lice the plate. Pull it down. Now I've got this over here to the side. Let's pretend like it's not even there, okay? We're going to take our gas cap. And I haven't known several times to leave this laying on the bumper down here while I'm filling up a little gas. Oh, put it back on the pump, close it up, whoom, drive off. Guess what? Notice it's a new gas cap? Yeah, I've lost a few of them because I forget to put it back sometimes. So what do we do? What do we do? All right, unscrew it. Notice these little grooves right here. Take, you see your threads here? Set it down inside there, give it a little bit of a turn like that. It's not going to pull out. Boom. Holds up. Use that method right there. Keep from losing your gas uh, gas cap. Save you a few bucks here and there. Keep from buying a new one like I have a few times. So, anyway. When you get done, roll it back a little bit. Boom. Done. Now, will it work? If you got that rolled over, let's try it. See? Got this little recessed area. Then you got your threads going on here. Sit down inside there. Rotate the threads in to lock it in. I guess I should have done that part first. Oh, that worked. All right. 
Throw it over right there. This is in here. Boom, like that. Good idea. So then we get done. Pull this off. There. Roll it in. Boom. Roll out. Let's go cruising. Yeah. Now let's recap our parts. The aluminum rod, which I decided worked pretty well. It bent without cracking. I'm not using my usual camera because it died. I got a new one on the way though. Aluminum rod, quarter inch by three feet long. It's made by Hillman. I got this as either Tractor Supply or Lowe's one or two. I don't remember exactly which one. But go over to the metal area of your local hardware supply store. Right there. You can use steel. It'll work just fine. But the aluminum was easier to cut, easier to bend. It doesn't rust. Now for your little straps, this is sort of like crazy important. Notice metal, metal, rubber lined. Metal is not going to eventually break on you like the plastic ones will. And this rubber lining right here kind of gives you a little bit of resistance of rotating this around, holding it in place. And also, you know, it's more rigid than the plastic ones are. So that'll hold that in place. Won't break. You need this. I'll tell you what, I'll put some links down below for you guys to pick these up if you want to like hit them on Amazon or something like that. That's really cool. If you need, these links I use on Amazon, if you guys do use them, they help me out a lot because, you know, you may get there and buy these parts right here, but while you're on there, you're going to buy, you know, dog food for Fido or something. No matter what you got, what you guys buy, I get a tiny little kickback, which helps the channel out a lot. Really appreciate it. I've noticed my Amazon um, affiliate system has been really ramping a lot lately. So some of you guys are using my affiliate links. I, I so much appreciate that. But bear in mind, when you use those affiliate links, it does not charge you a penny extra. It just gives me a little bit of a kickback to help put into the channel to make these videos for you. So, got these. T20 Torques, which is just a little bit right here, but you can use whatever you want, but it's a T20 size. Make sure I told you that. Yeah, T20, right there. Oh, also on our parts list was the uh, clear vinyl tubing that I picked up. This did come from Lowe's, but you can also pick it up at Tractor Supply or any of your hardware stores. ID, inside diameter, quarter inch, because it has to match the rod that you're using to bend back here. OD doesn't make a hill of beans difference. Probably the thicker, the better, but most of the time, you, but this is what's important. ID, quarter inch, because it has to fit over the metal rod that you're using to do this with. Okay, sweet. Oops, kind of left my cover on as I went to the gas station. Now for me personally, this right here has always worked out just fine for me, but other people like that little device holding down the license plate. So all my Power Ass crew, if you learned a little something from this video today, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, leave me some comments down below. And everyone, I really appreciate you hanging out with me. So let me show you one more thing. I told you about my bottle opener there. Watch this. Ta-da. Cheers. Peace, y'all. Later.